All right, thank you for joining me today. I'm excited to get started. 25K Futures Portfolio, proprietary trading systems. It's for active traders, and this will work for 25 to 50K. So it's a culmination of 22 years of experience for me. It's a data and experience-based webinar. So I'm excited to get started. I'm excited to share with you some of my new strategies. So while we're waiting to get started, um, I want to share a funny story with you. I was at Dick's Sporting Goods the other day, and this kid comes up to me and says, Hey, you like John Cena? I said, Okay, he's pretty cool, so I'll take that. He said, But you're not big like him. I said, Yeah, that guy is pretty big. I don't know a whole lot about John Cena, but um, he's in the WWE and he's a wrestler. I knew what he looked like. So you have to love kids. They speak the truth. I have a four-year-old and a six-year-old. This is John Cena right here. This kid was, by the way, six foot tall. And he was jumping up and touching the rim, 10-foot rim. And I said, how old are you? He says, I'm 13. I said, wow, you'll be dunking soon. So I'm sure he has a bright, athletic future ahead of him. And so I don't know much about John Cena, so I wanted to look him up. And I found this interview on CNBC. And he has a morning routine that includes reflection, journaling, and tweeting positive affirmations, which is good for a trader. So if you want to follow John Cena and you want to translate your sports uh, sports analogies to uh, trading, you can do that. Um, also, reflection and journaling is a good habit. He has 11.8 million Twitter followers, and I may add him soon myself. And so the point of this really is the quote I found in this article while we're getting started. So hopefully everyone is here by now. If you never take a chance, you may never fail, but you also may never succeed in anything except staying right where you are. So I love that quote because it, a lot of it has to do with trading. If you never take a trade, if you never take a risk, a financial risk, this applies to entrepreneurs, athletes, traders. You may never fail. You may never lose any money, but you may never succeed in anything. Expect staying, comma, comma, expect staying right where you are. And that's okay for some. You may not want to take a chance. You may not want to take a risk. You may be okay with right where you are. But if you are willing to take risk, if you want to um, participate in risk versus reward uh, entrepreneurial business opportunities, then trading is one of the things that I do. And I'm here to share that with you today. So I wanted to share something fun with you, not really related to trading, but related to sports. And this is John Cena's quote. And how do you translate that to trading? Here is the quote, rephrase for traders. If you never take a trade... You will never have a losing trade or drawdown, but you will never experience trading profits either. So this is intuitively obvious, and we understand this intellectually, but we have to remind ourselves of this emotionally. This comes into the trading psychology realm, and the simple things we have to remind ourselves of, because emotions can make us look dumb. Uh, if you have a strategy that wins 50% of the time, and the winners are two times bigger than the losers, are you are your losing trades bad trades? Is this a bad day? No, the answer is no. It's a losing trade, but not a bad day. It was You've prepared for only 50% winners. It's foolish to embark upon a path where you say, okay, I'm going to win half the time, and I'm going to lose half the time. And the winners and losers aren't going to necessarily alternate. Um, that'd be nice if it always alternated, win to loss, win to loss, win to loss. You might get a series. But it'd be foolish to embark on an endeavor where you knew that half your trades were losers and you still were upset by the fact that you had losing streaks. And so you have to remind yourself of this emotionally. <clears throat> Here is the disclaimer. So here's a disclaimer. We'll discuss trading. So I want to make sure you, you have a fair disclaimer. We use hypothetical results. And your financial advisor may tell you not to participate in short-term trading. And so that is... What I wanted to share with you today, I'll pause this a minute longer so you can make sure you read the CFTC Commodities Futures Trading Commission Disclaimer. All right, this is me. I'm David Bean. A little bit of background before we start. Um, I'm on my in my office on my left. I'm not sure I look like John Cena. I'm older, so maybe he looks like me. Ha ha. Um, I'm with my wife and two kids on the right. We live in Dallas, Texas. Uh, I started trading in investment path when I started my first job as an engineer in January of 1995. I first moved to Dallas. I have a, a degree in electrical engineering. 
Uh, I traveled quite a bit. I started studying features in 1996. Uh, started developing trading systems on daily bars in 1997. Was Supercharts a TradeStation product? It was a desktop version. Then I purchased TradeStation for intraday bars in 1998. Uh, one minute, you could get down to one minute bars, but they didn't have the data, so you had to buy the historical data separately. You had to have a separate real time data feed. So I've been doing this a while. I've seen the uh, path of technology improve quite a bit for traders. So more people have more information, and it's easier for you to research in one, in some cases, and in other cases, because everyone has this same information. Then it is uh, not necessarily uh, it may, maybe make it harder because more people are competing, because more people can more easily do it. So. Um, Trading and trading system research is my professional passion. Can't think of anything else I'd rather do. Um, I'm an entrepreneur at heart and need this type of opportunity that trading provides uh, for me. And so I launched my trading career. I quit my job in January 2001, right before my 30th birthday in February of that year, to manually trade my strategies. Uh, the, the automation that we have now was not available then. And so you had to manually enter orders into a different broker. I was using Lynn Waldock at the time. I don't know if any of you traded back then, if you remember the blue Lynn Waldock screen. Um, I might have kept my job a little longer. There's no fully automated traded system software. And I started with a small account. So um, I lived and breathed this for 24 20, 7 uh, while I was single. I didn't start my family until I was 2012. And so now I spend time with my family as well and so I trade, I exercise, spend time with my family and most of my most of my time is spent uh, you know right here in my office working and working on these algorithms I spend I day trade and I do research and then I take a family break exercise break and then I come back in the evenings and sometimes I'm up here till one or two looking at stuff so that's what I do who is this webinar for? Uh, this webinar is for uh, if you like to short-term trading, the idea of short-term, uh, uh, idea of a short-term relationship with the market. Maybe you have some strategies on your own, and you want to expand. Um, you want to invest in algorithmic trading and take advantage of the fluctuations in the market. Um, you want to diversify your capital using a different investment approach, risk-adjusted returns. You want the opportunity. Um, Maybe you want the opportunity to make profits on the short side. So you're concerned about placing all your capital in passive investing and you want to participate in active investing. And so investing in algorithmic trading is a very active trader uh, status, active investment approach. Uh, maybe you don't trust Wall Street and the Fed's stimulus. You believe there will be a day of reckoning. And history does uh, repeat itself. And so maybe you don't want to go through 15 to 90% drawdowns like we had in 1929, 90% drawdown, 50% drawdown. Uh, around 50% in the financial crisis 2008-2009 and so you're concerned about something for nothing mindset of Fed stimulus and money money printing and so it could go on for a while and it's a good long-term trade so stick with it while it lasts but um, I mean the principle of printing money to cover your needs is not really a sound principle and that's what's been going on for a long time what is the expertise of those on the webinar uh, you could be a beginner. Maybe you've never developed a trading uh, system. That's okay. You don't have to develop trading systems to use them. Maybe you're an experienced trader. Maybe you've done discretionary trading and you want to participate in systematic trading, systematic investing. Uh, experience. Maybe you're an experienced algorithmic trader looking for some additional trading strategies to diversify. Maybe you're an experienced investor looking for a new investment vehicle or you're a professional investor who... Maybe you have a family office, maybe you trade for others. So it's a broad range of experience here. Speaking as a professional investor, the best hedge fund trader of all time, I sent this email out yesterday, Jim Simons, Renaissance Technology Medallion Fund. His average annual return over 30 years was 66% before fees, 39% after fees. Uh, he started in the 1970s, though. He was a um, code breaker for the NSA, I believe. And then uh, he comes from academia. So he's a very smart guy, PhD. And he did well at first when he started his fund, but he lost a lot of investors when he, his original fund went through a 40% drawdown. So maybe you can relate. Maybe you've had some wipeout experiences. Uh, blowing up a $5,000 or $10,000 or small account 
is not really as bad as losing 40% of managed money. So you can, most people can get their 5 or 10K back and trade again, although I recommend having slightly more than that to trade. But if you have, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars under management and you go through a 40% drawdown, that's pretty, pretty hard, pretty hard to deal with. And um, so that's what happened. He went through a tough time. But and he thought about quitting. He wasn't sure if he's going to stick around. But he, he came back. He got some some bright minds to work with him. And he, he came back and he had that 66% return. Can you beat Jim Simon's average annual returns of 66%? And the answer is, you know, with small money, you can. Um, it's hard to do 66% or more or even 50% a year, year in and year out. So you have to be on your game and you have to work at it. But it's possible to beat those returns, especially with algorithmic trading. You can't you can't beat those with buy and hold, though. You can't you don't have the opportunity. You don't have the opportunity to do that with buy and hold. Sixty six percent a year is just not going to happen. But you have the opportunity to do that with short term trading, and that's why many of you are here today on this webinar. How can you beat the greatest hedge fund trader of all time? And overall, he get, takes a five percent management fee and a forty four percent incentive fee. So. If he has, when he has $10 billion under management, he takes $500 million off the top for his, uh, for, to run his fund. And that's a lot of resources. You could hire you know, 10 rocket scientists, pay them $5 million each, uh, 10 of the brightest minds in the world, and that's $50 million. That's only 10% you know, of your budget. You can bring in some, some supercomputers. You can get all the data in the world. You have virtually unlimited number of resources when you have that amount of capital just to invest in running your operation, doing your research and trading. So we are lucky enough to not have $10 billion. I mean, if you go from a million-dollar account, maybe you had a million-dollar account, and all of a sudden you want to manage $10 billion, you would be a little lost because the translation would require ramping up of resources that you probably don't have if you have a million dollars. You're going to need people. You're going to need additional resources to trade that amount of money. For example... What if you wanted to trade the NQ with 10 billion? Just couldn't do it. You see 10. Uh, you see the total bids there at 237. Uh, right here, 237 bids offers 223. Uh, the notional value of this contract at 830. The price is 83.9050, and you multiply that times 20. A Nasdaq mini Nasdaq futures contract is like having 20 shares of the e-mini Nasdaq futures. So the notional value at this price is 167.810. And if you use four times leverage, which is not that much, you're trading 24 contracts on a $1 million account. And so, I mean, Forex leverage, I should say, it, it, it's about the maximum most professional traders use. So it is a lot. So even if you, if you only just trade one one X, no, no leverage, you're trading six contracts on a million. And so a billion is a thousand times a million. So if you're trading one billion, you're trading 6,000 contracts. If you trade 10 billion, you're trading 60,000 contracts. If you trade um, four times the leverage, you're trading 240,000 contracts. I mean, imagine placing market orders of 240,000 contracts in the market. Often thought about how if you had, you know, unlimited capital, trillions of dollars, how fun it would be to come in and, and just throw big orders and see what happens at the market. Hey, here's 240,000, you know. Uh, it would probably instantly sink it 100 to 200 points, but um, and you would lose a lot of money, but if you, um, you know, it's just one of those random trader thoughts if you had trillions of dollars how you could uh, just mess with the markets but anyways that is that is a diff that's a difficult transition to go from trading 1 million to 10 billion you need lots of programming resources to split up the orders and change your strategy even so next slide what are some of the other returns of great investors? Warren Buffett, 20% over a 50-year period. Um, it's incredible, really, but it doesn't really compare to Jim Simons. George Soros, 30% over 30 years. One of the legendary, these, are, these guys are legendary people. Uh, Warren Buffett and Paul Tudor Jones and Market Wizards. Uh, 
pretty active today. You hear a lot about him in the news. Hunter, he, had a, he was a great trader in the 80s, and he still has his fun, but in recent years, he's single-digit returns. <clears throat> a lot of these guys in recent years haven't done that well, haven't done as much, and so... What are four things you need to be an algorithmic trader? So these are four basic things. You obviously need more than four things. But in general, one, you need capital. So today we're talking about a portfolio that is 25 to 50K. A week from now, we'll have a portfolio that covers these two. By the way, it also includes the 10K because this one is the stock index portfolio. This one is the um, all strategy portfolio, all strategy access 200K portfolio. And you can scale these with multiple contracts. And the stock index portfolio can be traded with micros now, one-tenth. So one contract on the stock index e-minis can be traded one-tenth on the micros. So that is the opportunity that we have next week. I'll have the registration link out soon. Here is a trading strategy. Um, second thing you need is a trading strategy. First thing is capital. So this represents a robot. I thought this was an interesting picture here of this robot. It these are oftentimes referred to as robots. Non-human algorithms are just programming languages. They're not an actual robot, obviously. But that is um, second thing you need is obviously a trading strategy. That's what we're focused on mainly today. You have to bring your capital. I have the strategies, and you also have to have your own uh, trading psychology. These are some of the common mistakes some people make. The first one is understanding and accepting risks. Uh, some people are not okay with the risk you thought you were okay with. So for example, if you're okay with a 10K drawdown, but you start to get nervous on a 3K drawdown, it's not for you. You didn't understand and accept the risk. You didn't know yourself. And being cerebral during research and being emotional when you trade. This happens a lot. It's kind of related to this right here, knowing what your risks are, and then thinking you're okay, and then you're not okay. The third, the third item here is you need to make money today. You can't use the market as an ATM machine. Desperation uh, will always get you. Um, if you load up and say, hey, I, I want some money. I'm going to go make some money now, or I'm tired of this uh, series of losers. I want to win now, and I'm just going to do it. And so... You have to be careful bringing your athletic mindset to the game, to the uh, trading game, so to speak. Uh, you don't want to do this. It's, it's a little different than sports. You can't get all fired up like a wrestler, a professional a football player, and, and uh, go against it head-to-head. -head. Uh, we, we can't take on the markets as retail traders. We have to just trade the opportunities that are there and ride the backs of those trends that are there, uh, piggyback on top of the institutional. So... You know, in football, maybe you need to win today. In wrestling, you need to win today. And you go out, you get all fired up, make it happen. In trading, you know, that's where the sports psychology differences end um, is, is, is right here. Need for desperation, getting fired up. You need to be more even kill and balanced. So to me, these are 90% of the trading psychology mistakes that I have made and, and see others make. There's books on it. Um, this is something that you have to develop on your own. The data, having data, to me, really helps with the trading psychology. Being cerebral during research and then being cerebral when you trade and not emotional. Keep focusing back on the data. Keep focusing back on the research. What does the research tell you? And that is 90% of what helps me out psychologically when I'm trading. Very quick mini course in trading psychology. It gets much more advanced. There's a lot that you could do uh, a lot more to understand, really, if you go deep into that. <clears throat> Technical skills. You don't have to be a programmer. You don't have to be able to develop an algo. You don't have to be an IT expert or Microsoft certified. Um, but you should be comfortable using a computer. You should be able to download files and install software. And you should enjoy using your trading platform and exploring. Regardless of your experience and resources, you will have days like this. There will be technical errors. The more you do it, the less and less technical errors you have. And I find that my errors tend to average out over time. So, you know, maybe you don't, maybe you miss a loser. And so that was a profitable error. Or maybe you miss a winner. That was a losing error to miss a winner. 
maybe your loss was bigger, maybe your win was larger because you didn't get out in time. But I recommend that if you go down, that you, you get back online on another computer. A lot of these uh, platforms have web, web execution as well, or mobile execution. So if your PC goes down, log in on the web, on the web browser, or mobile, and go flat until you get your system back up and running. So you'll have days like this too. If you uh, make it through the tough times and you trade, you'll have good days as well. And so here's a guy that's excited about his winning trade. But I, I recommend focusing on the long term and being more even kill and not getting mad on uh, mad or sad on losing days and elated on winning days. Just focus on the long term picture. You're going to have big up days and you're going to have some down days and losing streaks and you're going to some winning streaks. So you know, in the end, it's about you know, keeping that series and that equity curve going in the right direction. <clears throat> so this is a kind of intro. Let's dig into these strategies now. Uh, this is a screenshot of the 30K portfolio, or the, the 30 system stock index portfolio. We're going to talk about this next week. So I want to start out with an example. Here's an example strategy. ES after hours, you see five trades here. Five out of the six are winners. And so a good winning streak. And I want to use this as an example of a strategy so I can show you the code at the end I'll display the easy language code at the end if you stick around you'll be able to see the easy language code here is the performance summary and I developed this back in here in this time frame I developed it back in here and so the out of samples got hotter than the actual in sample development and you see nice average trade profit um, no slippage or commission so plenty of average trade profit really low drawdown really nice equity curve we all seek this equity curve. Very little pain right there. We all like that. Um, so some strategies work really well sometimes, and other times they don't. Um, <clears throat> here it is back to 2009, though. The last one was back to 2018, about 14 months ago, uh, from about right here. And I developed it in here and so it's it's gone the out of sample as well and the back test is is good the equity curve is up but the average trade profit is low and since there's no slippage in commission overall this is probably going to be negative until it breaks out around here and so it could break out around here when you add slippage in commission the drawdown is low and essentially um, this is a strategy that could be improved because it's only it's just basically three lines of code where one of those is a stop loss. So, and one of them is the exit time, and one is a stop loss. So, just one one rule really for entry. And so, it's a very simple, simple strategy. It trades in the night session after hours. And the point I want to make here is that not all strategies work all the time, and that's why we have portfolios the way we have them set up. And I'll explain that further. There's very little pain or drawdown in this equity curve. We want a strategy for every market condition, bull market, bear market, high volatility, low volatility, rising interest rates, decreasing interest rates, etc. What is the best solution is a portfolio of strategies. This is what I've found to be the case. There is a different set of strategies for different market conditions. We basically have a different module of each strategy acts like a module for different market conditions. Um, most people don't think uh, like this. Most people want to create a strategy that has a perfect equity curve, and they tend to make errors in their development. So strategies for the current market should do well for its defined condition or regime, and don't do terrible. Most people are not gonna. Most people are, don't think like this. I, I want a strategy that does great. I'm bringing my sports. I'm bringing my uh, educational mindset to this. I want my strategy to be an A plus strategy. I want it to be perfect. Perfect strategy. But a perfect strategy doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. There's no holy grail. So you don't do terrible during periods when it's out of sync with the market conditions. So imagine, you know, you have lots of strategies you, you combine in the and when you're losing, you don't do terrible on some of the strategies, and the strategies that are doing well make up for those losses. And so that's how we put portfolios together is we mix strategies that work differently. And when the strategy is out of regime, out of market condition, it doesn't do terrible. And when it is, it makes up for those that are. Otherwise, you're stuck trying to predict the future um, 
or you involved in poor strategy development, over optimize, curve fit, unintended biases, trying to create that perfect strategy. You want that everyone wants that perfect equity curve. And that most of the time I see people develop these equity curves over a one to two year period. And they're absolutely perfect, but they don't back test well before that. Or they um, they might have a longer term picture, but there's very few trades, maybe 40 trades. 20 to 40 trades, sample size is very small. So that doesn't work for me. I want, um, I'd rather mix strategies that work in different market regimes that are very simple and very real. And so that's what, that's what our solution is. And these platforms that we have can give us a false sense of confidence because they will let you optimize to your heart's content and create what you think is a perfect strategy. It's a false sense of confidence. So what is the solution? The, for, we're recommending the 20, the 25K portfolio for 2020. This is what I recommend. It's a 10 strategy portfolio. It trades five different markets. It trades uh, different methodologies. It's a culmination of experience, what works now and in the past. And it's an update from the 2019 version of our 25K portfolio. So here are the instruments that it trades. This 25K portfolio it trades the E-mini S&P, the E-mini NASDAQ, crude oil, gold, soybeans. These are some of the best markets to trade with the highest average daily dollar range. Uh, the instrument breakdown by strategies, three S&P strategies, two NASDAQ strategies, three crude oil strategies, one gold strategy, one soybean strategy. Uh, day trade versus swing trades are six day trade strategies and four swing trade strategies. You must be comfortable holding positions overnight. Let's look at what happened in 2019. We had a 2019 portfolio. These are the 13 strategies. I'm going to put them out here really quickly for you. Uh, five of these are the same that we had in that we have in 2020. We've kept five of these and we've modified some of these and made some modifications to the portfolio for 2020. So these are the 13 strategies. We started out with six to eight, but we added bonuses. And with the number of strategies here, you could trade them with 50k account. Same with the new portfolio. There's enough strategies to trade with 50k, and you might need to cut back if you only have 25k. So. But let's look at last year's results. Here it is. You see the uh, run up at the beginning of the year. A little bit of sideways and now it's breaking out huge. November 11K. And you see the drawdown curve has stayed around the same. And so overall 25K in 2019. So that is the old portfolio. We're going to zoom in on the performance again. You can see the uh, capital required because it is 13 strategies and you can add strategies you can have some volatility plus 11k here you know those two months in a row were down that month was down this month was down uh, January was big and so there's some ups and downs and that's how that's how trading can work and I wanted to share that with you here's the 2020 strategies you can see here there's there's 10 of them and I'm including um, this is what I'm including the 10. This is Cobra 3 Mini NASDAQ, SR Counter Trend 2 Mini SP, Mini SP Night Trader. These are all in the 2019 portfolio. The, the SR Counter Trend 2 was in the uh, 2019 portfolio. We've, we're using the SR Counter Trend 3, which is new. It's the overnight version. And the reason I'm doing that, I've modified, uh, I've improved this strategy. And in the uh, larger portfolios, SR Counter Trend 2 and 3 are included. But what happens, what's happened, we've gone through a period of time where if you're looking at a strategy that buys dips in an uptrend, uh, the rebound doesn't happen intraday. So for example, crude oil might be uptrend, pulls back intraday, you buy that dip, and it just sits down here. It doesn't bounce. The there's a delayed bounce, and we found that holding it overnight improves our performance. And so that is how these strategies work. Um, SR Counter Trend 2 Gold recently made equity peaks. And so um, SR Counter Trend 2 Crude Oil has been down this year. And so we're, we're trading the overnight version on these. SR Counter Trend 4 was in the 2019 portfolio. Soybean Swing was in the 2019 portfolio. This is a new strategy in early 2019. And these two are old strategies that have been revised and simplified, actually. So these are very old strategies, 10 plus years old, as are uh, Cobra 3 E-mini NASDAQ was 10 plus years old originally for the S&P. 
And so those are the strategies for the new portfolio. And again, here's the list. The greens show the strategies that are carried over from 2019. The greens are 2019 strategies. And the ones that are not green are, um, they're not new strategies. This one's new as the beginning of 2019. These are not new strategies. These are kind of, this is kind of revised. And this is new, but it replaces, it's, it's a revision, kind of an overnight version of, of a current principle. So um, our bias is to trade the E-mini S&P with counter trend and the E-mini NASDAQ with trend strategy. So you see that here. E-mini NASDAQ, Cobra 3 is a trend strategy. Esther counter trend 2 is a counter trend. Um, Gap continuation is a trend strategy. Cobra CT3 is a counter trend strategy. Now, night trader is a trend strategy, but it trades at night, and so there's trends at night. This bias is based on day trade, what we're seeing on the day trade. Overnight, we're seeing trends in the E-mini S&P, and we like those. So we trade that with night trader. Let's look at the performance summary with these 10 strategies. Nice equity curve um, in 2020. If we look at the back-tested results for this new setup, I like the drawdown curve as well. It's a lower drawdown, 10,000, and um, the account size requires about 42K. So you'll have to cut back on some of these strategies if you have only um, 25K. It also depends on your brokerage margin. But I like the, the, the frequency. I like the frequency of, of these. Uh, you should, one of the things you should study is the drawdown curve. Look how quickly these bounce back. Um, recently, so quick bounce backs. Here is the zoomed in top performance. November was not as good as the old portfolio, and the old portfolio kind of went through um, beginning of the year sideways, and then now it's starting to do this, and sometimes it can get hot. So you, one of the opportunities that you have is you can keep the old portfolio if you want. If you want, if you say I want to, I want to trade something that um, has been around longer. Um, then you can do that as well. You can trade the old or the new. You can request either one on this. And so here's what you get. All the 10 strategies I've already listed right here. Um, you'll get upgrades to the portfolio and strategy. So if I upgrade a strategy, say if I upgrade Cover 3 Evening NASDAQ, then you get that update. If I add a strategy that's not already there, you get that as well. Um, so you get to keep the old strategy and the new strategy, and you get all updates to the portfolio, and um, to the portfolio and strategies. You get technical support for your strategies. We'll help you with any technical support for your strategies. We even help with some platform support, extensive platform support. We will refer you to the platform provider. So. It's available in the following platforms, TradeStation, NinjaTrader 8, and MultiCharts. There are actually three strategies, the last three. Esther CounterTrend 3, Gold and Crude Oil, and then Cobra Crude Conservative, the new one. That are, They're not available yet, but they will be before the end of the year, and so we'll extend your lease for the amount of delay. So the current lease for this special offer will go through January 1st, 2000. In 21, can't believe we're already in tw looking at 2021. So um, here is a special offer, or actually the basic cost of each strategy. $50 a month is what we traditionally charge a strategy. So if you have 10 strategies, that's 500 a month. And if you do that for 12 months, that's 6k per year, uh, or it's 450 per year per strategy. So if you do an annual lease. Times 10 strategies, it's 4.5K per year. But typically, we give you a break at 2450 per year for 10 strategies. People ask about open code. That's about 10K per strategy. And so um, this is a side note. This is just a side note. So what we're doing is we're giving a special offer on what we would normally give you on a 10 strategy setup. And you get the special offer is uh, 10, all 10 strategies for 1995 which is less than $200 per strategy per year. You get all updates, so you could end up with more strategies before the end of the year. Um, your subscription is through January 1, 2021. And so that's a great deal um, from, the, from the fact that um, it's still December. So if you, the sooner you sign up, the sooner you get the, uh, 
you get to have the portfolio. You can run it in sim mode. You can get all the setups going and have a full year of 2020 as the subscriptions last through January 2021. Um, <clears throat> like I said, you get all upgrades for strategies and portfolios during the subscription. Complete instructions and support to get you set up. And this offer expires Thursday night at midnight, December the 12th. So I want to show you the link to where you can get that special offer and download uh, the reports. It's the 25K portfolio. So you go to my website, there'll be another pop up for the next webinar in a week from now, starting tomorrow. And you go to market portfolios. And you go to, you scroll down to the 25K portfolio, learn more about the 25K portfolio. And you have this webinar special offer, and it pops up. You can download all the performance reports right here. Download the performance reports, and it's a zip file with the MHTs and screenshots. You can quickly go through and look at all 10 strategies. Um, and it's without slippage and commission, but you can get the portfolio calculator. So go to the 25K portfolio section. This webinar replay will be placed right here when it's done. It will also be placed right here. This is an old video which you can watch for now. Um, here is a special offer, $19.95 for the annual subscription. And um, where can you get the portfolio calculator? The portfolio calculator has been updated through uh, through yesterday, December the 9th. So you can go down to the portfolio calculator. You can actually build your own portfolio if you want. You can download it here and you'll get this portfolio calculator right here. Here is the latest results on all 10 strategies for the new portfolio. It's down 35, 72, 50 this month. That's a normal. You want to look at these normal drawdowns. See, you can see the cyclical nature of these drawdowns and you can see that that's a normal, uh, normal drawdown. Take a look right here. See all these drawdowns. And you have one right here and so it happens all the time that it goes into these drawdowns and you missed this you missed this first drawdown if you started today um, I'll ha the results change each day and so I'll have to look at the latest results but if you want this if you want this setup um, you, you essentially you could see this as getting the subscription for free because if you started trading at an equity peak uh, your risk would be 10, 6, 17, 50 to worst case drawdown, but you're already in a $3,500 drawdown, and you missed that $3,500 drawdown, and the subscription cost is 2K. So you can wrap your subscription cost in the current drawdown, and it's also the end of the year, so talk to your accountant. You may be able to get a um, write off for investment costs um, for portfolios. So something else to consider here at the end of the year. So that is. Um, the portfolio calculator. This is uh, this is where it is on the website. You can go to um, let's see, let's go to Capstone Trading Systems again, and click on the 25k portfolio. And this is where you again. I'll put this video here so you can watch it again if you'd like. And again, this is where you get the special offer. So. I have a question and answer session now. I want to go over a couple of things and I have to run. And so, so data feeds that you need are the CME. You need the CME for this. You need the CBOT. All the CME group, COMEX, this is the metals. NYMEX is the energies. You need VIX, not futures, cash. So dollar sign v i x dot x, and you need the you need the N Y S E. So if you're non pro, these should be like five 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 and one. I think is the cost. This one's free. If you're a pro, these are like 105 dollars each. That's what I pay. And so 420, uh, and this one's 45. So it's about 465 for these. If you're a pro, your data feeds, this is, goes to the, to the exchange through TradeStation. Hopefully, you're a non-pro and you can get it for, you get your data for 26 a month. I recommend getting a second platform. I have multiple platforms. I usually use delayed data on my research platform to not pay, you know, $500 per platform just for data. And um, so, um, <clears throat> that is what you need. Again, it works in NinjaTrader. TradeStation and multi charts. And 
you can download the screenshots. I can I can show you those real quick. I'm going to go through the screenshots really quick on this. So one of the things I do when I develop a portfolio is I, I, I combine strategies that have strategies that are in a run-up, strategies that are in a drawdown, strategies that are trend, strategies that are counter-trend, strategies that have different exit methodologies. I don't want to use the same exit methodology. I don't want to have strategies that have $300 stop loss and hold to the end of the day. Um, there's times when the market's just too choppy and you'll just get stopped out all the time and go through extended drawdowns. You need some that take profits quickly, some that let winners run, uh, some with tighter stops, some with narrower stops. And so that is, um, those are some of the setups that I'm looking at. Here is, um, so as you scroll through these equity curves, you'll see the different shapes of the equity curves. That's Cobra Crude. This is Cobra CT3. Um, this is uh, Cobra 3 e mini NASDAQ. That's Cobra 3 e mini NASDAQ the last two years. You can see a zoomed in version, average trade profit. By the way, you can download all these on the 25K portfolio. There's a button to download all the zip files. And you can take a look here. Here's Night Trader, one of our better strategies, the swing trade strategy. And most, most swing trade strategies I've found uh, have, you know, 10 to 20k drawdowns and most day trade strategies have between 5 and 10k drawdowns long term long term if they haven't they they will so um, you want to combine them uh, you don't want to fix them by over optimizing them you want to combine them with other strategies so this is a zoomed in version of the last three years of e mini night trader and here is uh, the e mini nasdaq going back two years gap continuation going back two years the average trade profit goes up um, let's see, where was I? Yeah, gap continuation. The longer term picture, it doesn't do terrible here. You know, once you add slippage and commission, it's going to look a lot worse, but it doesn't do terrible here. Same thing with uh, Cobra 3 mini NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is at a higher value, and so typically trend strategies, it's, it's right in sync with the value where it is right now. So, um, let's see. Still looking at these screenshots. And here's Soybean Swing. Consistent. It works back to the 80s. Uh, here's SR Counter Trend 4 Crude Oil. It actually works back to the 80s when you test it on pit data. And these are SR Counter Trend 3 Crude Oil. Nice recent results. Nice equity curve on these overnight strategies. Crude Oil and Gold. That's SR Counter Trend 3. SR Counter Trend 2 E mini SP. Let's see, where do we start? And Cobra Crew Conservatives. So that it, those are the screenshots, and I was going to show you the code for this, and so I'm going to do that next. If you stuck around, um, I'm going to show you the code for ES After Hours. Here it is. Pause the video, take a look at it. It's a very simple strategy. There's not really a lot here to optimize except the stop loss. This represents 23 bars on a 60-minute chart, which is a full day's worth of bars since the market is closed for an hour. This represents the end of the session in central time zone. You're using exchange time on 60-minute charts on at ES. Uh, this is midnight, and this is a stop loss. So there's not a lot here. Very, very basic one line of code. If you close down from yesterday's close, you buy the next open at the current close on a limit order, you exit at midnight, use a $700 stop loss. Unbelievably good strategy. Um, and so that is the update um, that I wanted to share with you. Not the update, but the code for this m and &E 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 after hours pattern. So, all right, I went through that pretty fast. Um, you can email me if you have any additional questions on this setup. Again, next Tuesday, I'll be sending out a link for um, for the next webinar, Active Trading Systems, 100K to $1 million account. That will be two different portfolios. Um, one portfolio will be the stock index portfolio for the 100K plus. is a stock index, which can actually be traded with 10K. So you can come to this portfolio and, and learn from it, if you, even if you only have 10K to trade. And the other will be... Uh, the, all strategy access 200k portfolio and it's more strategies this is 30 strategies this is this is like 50 uh, three strategies and so includes the 10k micro account with the stock index portfolio so that is the book that, um, that is the um, webinar and I have books on my website as well to uh, discuss more open code uh, strategies if you want to learn programming uh, you can find those on my website. There's other information on my website.
But that is the webinar for today. I want to thank you for coming. If you're watching this on a recording, email me with your questions. If you have any problems with the links or the special offer, let me know. It expires Thursday, December 12th at midnight.